Hello all, uh, this is Mohammad Anif uh, from RGKT Basar. Uh, well, I once again welcomes you on this digital signal processing uh, lab. So today we will see the filter applications. So here I do have uh, three tones. Each tone is mixed with uh, some noise. Okay. So first we need to identify the where the frequency component is available and the where the noise is available. And then later we have to uh, choose the pro uh, exact or uh, required filter to remove that noise. Okay. So let's start. So starting with CLC, clear all, close all, and we'll try to read this audio files here. So for that one, we am taking one variable x1 and then um, every audio file is consist of some sampling frequency. So for that one, the sampling frequency is written as fs here and then with the function audio read, we can read the audio file. So I am uh, reading this tones1 at mp4. Okay and then we will play this sound x1 fs so here we do have a 10 seconds of tone uh, you can, uh, if you have observed that, you can understand that it is uh, corrupted with uh, noise. Okay, and here you you can see that we uh, we are able to available uh, uh, able to find the value of fs, which is given as forty four thousand one hundred, and then x one is having uh, four lakhs some four lakhs change uh, rows. So now, first, uh, we'll try to find out where this frequency uh, components available in x1 okay so for that one we need to find the fft of x1 and then we'll plot that then so that we can able to see the frequency components okay so first we'll take uh, we'll try to uh, as you here you can see that x1 is consist of now many rows first we'll convert this into single row so for that one we'll do x x1 transpose okay and then we'll find the fft now fft will save in x so fft of x and then we'll try to plot absolute value of this x's now here you can see that uh, First we have done uh, transpose of x1 so x is now transposed and with one row and then uh, columns have increased to this 4 lakhs chain and then uh, we have calculated the plot uh, fft of x and then we have plotted it so this is the plot now with the, by seeing this graph you can see that uh, this is the noise available and these two are the frequency components so uh, by seeing that uh, we can see uh, uh, we understand that we need to get this frequency component and then we don't need these frequencies and then we need this frequency that means we can uh, we can go with a band stop filter so that it, uh, it will stop these uh, frequencies and then it allows these two frequencies so this is uh, we can uh, employ or we can use a band stop filter to remove this uh, uh, filled uh, noise okay so first of all we need to identify the uh, frequencies of this one so these are uh, filter coefficients okay so now first we will take a marker and then we will put on here so that we can get a frequency of that now here it is showing that uh, on x-axis it is displaying 5005 for the first uh, spectrum and second second spectrum is given as uh, 6 into 10 power 4 that is like 60,000 okay now first we'll calculate this uh, where the frequency is available for us so for that one we know that uh, digital frequency uh, is given as
the distal frequency is given as 2 pi 2 pi f upon uh, fs sampling frequency so this is uh, digital frequency radians per second uh, radians per samples and then this is our analog frequency right and if you calculate the fee, uh, FFT and then if you do the samples for actually we do have uh, 0 to pi sorry 0 to 2 pi for uh, radians and then if you do uh, sampling for this for on every second like the dit on 2 pi n and then this is the coefficient then omega k is given as 2 pi k upon n now we will equal this one together and we will try to find out the frequency for our uh, filters okay so these two will get cut off now f is given as k in fs by f okay now k is uh, first k is now this is the so first this is the k so here it is given as 5000 so i am writing Five thousand multiplied by FS is forty four thousand and then N is N is this one the total uh, number of samples the total number of samples is around uh, 44 uh, 4 into 10 power 5 so 4 into 10 power 5 so we will write 40 into 10 power 4 so we assume that this is uh, nearby this 44 and then we will cancel these together and then here we will get another 10 and this 10 if you cancel with this one so first cutoff frequency we understand is 500 similarly we will calculate for the uh, second one so second cutoff frequency so that is k2 fs upon n so here uh, k2 is now around so this is 6 into 10 power 4 6 into 10 power 60 into fs this is 44 into 10 power 4 so once again this is so we cancel this together and then 10 so 10 means we'll cancel this so this is 6k 6000 right so now we found that there are two cutoff frequencies one cutoff frequency is at 500 that we, we do have one um, frequency component at 500 hertz another frequency component at 600 hertz now we will uh, we need to design one band stop filter so for that one uh, i'm using the uh, previous program which i have uh, already explained you in my previous videos so i'm copying that entire program in uh, new file so i will we'll be writing one function here okay function for small h and as we need uh, uh, band band stop filter so we'll give name that as a h band stop filter right and here we need some uh, coefficients so let so this is the band stop filter and we'll end the function with end And 
here in this one we need uh, to enter the filter coefficients length enter the number so here we need to enter the l value uh, so enter ordered number uh, filter filter uh, impulse response right this is for okay and then uh, here uh, as we are entering this one so you do need of fs so we'll write a component as fs so we are uh, saving we are uh, taking this bandpass filter uh, entire program as a one function and we are naming that as hbs so this is the function starting and then we are attributing with to uh, small h okay and this we are ending so we'll save this first So here you can see that this is the function for program and now here we'll write calling band pass sorry band stop filter so we'll call that with small h is equals to hbs and then sampling frequency right and then so uh, this actually uh, this program is consist of only uh, filter coefficients for uh, band pass filter so now after uh, to make it as a complete filter what we have to do is we need to do convolution okay convolution with uh, x and h and I will save this in as a output tone right and then uh, we will will also call like sound output tone and fs or it's we'll first stop this and then we'll calculate x one s is equals to f fifty of output tone and then we'll plot this right So this is the first one uh, it is uh, uh, showing that this is noise is available here so we have calculated the cutoff frequencies uh, we have calculated the frequency components now the first frequency component was 500 so we will give uh, as it is it has to pass so we will uh, increase the cutoff frequency to 1000 and then upper cutoff frequency so our frequency component is available at 6000 so we will give upper cutoff frequency as 5500 and then the length of the filter is like we will give as triple five Again, I'll run this program. So here you can see that So here you can see that we have successfully able to remove this 
uh, noise here now we will try to we will try to play this okay once again running the same code that we have successfully able to remove that noise okay similarly uh, we can we can do uh, for remaining uh, we can calculate for remaining tones also now we'll check uh, what is uh, available in tone 2 okay so I'll remove this and okay so Now here uh, in tone 2 the frequency components are start from here to here only and the noise is available after that that means here uh, the best filter we can use is a low pass filter low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of after the second one so uh, you can uh, how we can calculate that cutoff frequency by uh, putting this uh, marker here and then so it is giving uh, 5 into 10 power 4 that means around 5k will be our two so below 5k both the frequency components are available so we'll design one low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 6000 will work for us for tone 2 uh, similarly for tone 3 now if we see now uh, here you can see that the noise available in, in, at the starting point only and if we see this uh, frequency component so it is uh, 5 into 10 power 4 again the frequency components are started from 5k that means here we can uh, we can use a uh, high pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 4k so that means uh, it can pass the 5k and then second frequency component so we can get uh, uh, we can get uh, uh, like uh, our frequencies okay so you try these two uh, codes or you try to uh, make a one uh, write a program such that it consists of a, like uh, many frequency components are there in that okay so uh, here we are first checking and then we are calculating where the frequency component is available so what uh, is uh, uh, we can do here is here that uh, having some uh, frequency components and automatically we have to write a code such a way that automatically it identifies the where the frequency component is there and then we'll keep uh, every like one one band pass filter there so that we can that uh, extract that frequency component from there okay uh, i hope this uh, video is useful to you uh, thank you